Let me share with you how to perform duodenal exam. And here you notice a cap fitted endoscope entering the pylorus. And we are in the first portion of the duodenum. And then as you push your scope in and turn to the right and down and pulling the scope back a little bit, it will enter into the second portion of the duodenum and then slip into the third portion quickly. And then as you're coming out of the third portion of the duodenum, it is a good idea to examine circumferentially and also focus on trying to see the ampulla. The reason I want to see the ampulla is to make sure that we don't miss any ampullary adenomas. And I've had at least uh, two patients so far where we picked up the ampullary adenomas in the last one year uh, with the use of a cap and routinely looking for the ampulla as I'm doing it now. And uh, the other advantage of the cap is as the scope comes back into the first portion of the duodenum, it tries to elongate the bulb so that you could look at the duodenum better and likely to find lesions that you would have otherwise missed without the help of a cap.